Telling you, telling you, telling you, the morning has got nothing but assholes out. Look at these motherfuckers, why are they goddamn fucking stop? There's a thing going on to boycott the NFL. Because that football player has That'll the, never happen. Has the, uh, has the audacity not to stand for the bullshit at the beginning. The anthem. Yes. Did you really forget what it was called? Yes, I did actually. Oh, okay. Alright. Anyway. Nobody is seeing why he's doing it. They all just see him do it and they're so upset that he's got the balls to fucking kneel down and not stand up. Alright, stop and think about this. Do you think the fucking people in North Korea are standing up on their own? Blacks were brought to this country, what, 300 years ago? As cargo on ships, as slaves. Not much has changed since. They were whipped. They were mutilated. They were lynched. They were killed. I mean, they were treated worse than you fucking treat cattle. This is 2016. Shit is still going on. Cops are just shooting them left and right for no fucking reason other than the fact that they're black. Then there's the slavery of jail. Then there's the 13th Amendment, but I'm not even going to go into that motherfucker. See the documentary. Oh, yeah, watch the documentary. You'll learn a lot. I understand what he's doing with him, you know, why he's kneeling. I wouldn't stand for that shit either. You fucking oppress my people, you oppress me. Okay, yeah, he's making a good fucking salary, he's lucky. But how many of them are actually making good money like that? Well, he's using his power and influence. Which is he supposed to do. He is supposed to do You know, that. black people can't win. You, you know, I want you to think about it. When they when they're in the streets, disrupting traffic, why don't they do quiet protests? You can't get more quiet than kneeling. And they're mad at him about that. And, and it's all false patriotism. It's all fake patriotism. You don't see them fucking signing up with the fucking military recruiting office, do you? <laughs> Fuck no. I used to have that same fucking argument with the guy I used to work with. He was so hyped up when Bush wanted to invade Iraq. So yeah, we gotta do it. We got I says, dude, I says, you know, there's an army recruiter downtown. Well, I'll go when they call me. <laughs> they don't draft anymore, bitch. I said, they don't draft. You have to volunteer. Well, when when we get to it, I'll, I'll you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, somebody else yeah, can you do this. Shit. You want somebody else's fucking son to go and fight. Mm -hmm. Fucking typical Republicans. Just like Bushy. Join the fucking National Guard. Or the Reserve. Hey, I grew up in that era. You had to have fucking money. You had to buy your way into it. The waiting lists were a fucking mile long. Yes. Huh? Was that a history moment? That could have been. Not necessarily so. Can you just picture the fucking Jews in Germany saluting the SWAT sticker? Because they're German? You think about that bullshit. Saluting the fucking SWAT sticker as you're on your way to the fucking oven. I think it's funny that you call it SWAT sticker. It is a SWAT sticker. That's what they called it. Isn't it swastika? Whatever. <laughs> what, the what are you, the grandma goddamn police? It's just funny to listen to you talk. Are you the fucking grandma? Let me see your bed. Actually, I, I am. I'm undercover. Bitch. I want to see your fucking badge. I am undercover. I'm going to make a badge. <laughs> fucking grandma police. On the badge is going to say, there, there, and there. You understood exactly what the fuck I was saying. But correcting your pronunciation isn't grammar. Grammar is police! <laughs> what is it? If it ain't correcting. It's not your grammar, it's your pronunciation. Alright, are you the pronunciation police? Today, yes, bitch, I'm on special assignment from the grammar Nazis. From the grammar Nazis. You understood what I meant? I never could get that there, there, there right anyway. Oh, well, I got to put well, you in jail. Your. I got to put you in jail. Well, you're, you're yours. There's only... Mine, mine, mine. Anyway. Anyway. Lock you up. 
Stop looking at what he's doing and think about what he's doing. I do the same fucking thing. Yeah, old man, throttle across the street. I would do the same fucking thing. I mean, really. Why? Why is it? Why is it that white people can do have standoffs that last for fucking days at a time, but a black kid, twelve-year-old kid in a fucking playground gets shot within three seconds? Why are we not talking about Standing Rock? Because nobody gives a shit about Native Americans. They shot a pregnant woman in front of her kids and killed her. Uh, no doubt. I, I didn't read that, but I don't doubt it. And the private security firm, they had sick dogs on them. And we're not talking about Standing Rock. Because America. Meantime, some fucking yahoos can hole up in a fucking... Bird sanctuary. Yeah, that's where they were. The and they get fucking sandwiches. It's the Muir... It's the Muir Wildlife Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I think it's in Europe. But they're dying in Standing Rock. Ooh, what the fuck happened there? How the fuck are you gonna get into the police department? I down here. Jail is always open. Are you serious? No, no, the jail, you know, no waiting in the end. Come on in. We'll make room for you. And the conditions in jail are just disgusting. Not necessarily this jail, but I had a girlfriend tell me they just put her on the floor. That's because they got the fucking jails packed with petty fucking criminals. Bullshit. It's bullshit. You're fucking jaywalking. You started jaywalking. You're not supposed to walk and But kill. it's um, money, you know? It's about money. Of course it is. How many can you pack in? Don't you need to see Orange is the New Black? It's because they're using mm -hmm. private fucking jailers. Yeah. They don't make money unless they got prisoners. You, you got to see Orange is the New Black. Why aren't you watching that? You got to see that documentary about that judge in Pennsylvania. What judge is that? What documentary is that? I judge. don't do documentaries! There's a judge in Pennsylvania. They had... They took their juvenile detention and privatized it. So this judge... Oh, cash for kids? Yes. This judge was sending kids to this juvenile detention center. He was getting kickbacks for every fucking kid he sent there. Because they make money on how many kids they have in the center, just like everything else. They don't get paid for the building, they get paid per prisoner that they're holding. The more prisoners, the more they make. And it's all about the fucking bottom line. It's not about justice punishment. It's about fucking money. It's about the bottom fucking line. Private prison, private prisons got to make money for their stockholders. The only way they're making money for their stockholders is by getting prisoners into this fucking jail. So they're sending fucking people in there for bullshit fucking crimes that should be handled in the community but aren't because, hey, money. They got to show they're tough on crime. So they lock up a little fucking teenager because he sold a couple of joints. And sent him to the fucking house for 20 years. You know, really? Send him home to his mama. Let his mama whip his fucking ass. That's what they need to do. Bye. Go. Go.